All right, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praises and infinite glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And also, peace and safety to the Akim that spread across the four corners of the world. It's pushing out his truth with all diligence and also putting their lives in line to do so. I'm the brother Karatsaza here out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. Here with the lesson, you know, going into uh, the infodemic. You know, in which uh, the elders out in Dallas, you know, touched on it, you know, uh, a couple of weeks back at camp, you know, and the spirit had brought it back up in our group chat. You know, I just wanted to add my two cents on it, you know, uh, so to speak. And Salakia, uh, if I'm uh, breathing kind of deep, I'm out uh, doing, you know, it's best to hear a walk and talk, you know, so, um, you know, just going into the infodemic which I have uh, pulled up here, you know, from um, who.int, you know, I'm going to read, you know, some info on, you know, what's really going on, you know, with all of the information that's going out in the world, you know, all of the, uh, you know, really a lot of false information is out there. That's why it's important, you know, to to stick, stick to uh, prophecy, you know, Stick to what's, you know, what the scripture says, you know, and link, you know, current events up with what the, the Bible says, man. All right. So, uh, with, nevertheless, you know, I'm going to uh, read, you know, the overview, you know, on the infodemic, uh, which it says, an infodemic is too much information, including false or misleading information in digital and physical environments. And that's, you know, that's exactly what's going on. A lot of false you know, information, you know, is being put out, especially by, uh, you know, the TikTok platform, you know, Twitter, you know, Instagram, you know, uh, Wikipedia, you know, you, like uh, Brothers was going into it, you know, uh, briefly, you know, during the past class that we had, you know, dealing with, you know, the Will Lynch letter, you know, uh, you can kind of see, you know, that uh, Esau kind of, you know, tweaked some words and some letters around in the letter, man. All right. And that's, you know, really, you know, kind of easy to do, man. All right. So that's why a lot of, you know, things, you know, that people may be going into, you know, you really shouldn't put your spirit into it, man. You know, that's why it's important to follow, you know, the apostles and the elders. Here at Great Millstone because, you know, why? Because they link everything up with the scriptures, you know, going into the prophecies, man. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> I'm going to start. I'm going to read this back at the top again. It says an infodemic is too much information, including false progress or misleading information duration, in digital 10 minutes, and physical distance, environments during 0. a disease, the disease outbreak. It causes confusion. Minutes. And risk-taking behaviors per mile. that can harm health. Voice coach you disabled. See? Go premium to get confusion. feedback during the training. Right? And that and, and it's, it, it can mislead you, man. That's why and I'm going to keep reiterating that, you know, stick with what the apostles and elders are teaching, man. All right? Because you can easily be misguided by all of this information that's out here, man. You know, it's so much different worlds, you know, cosmos that you can dive into. All right. It's so much, man, that you you can find yourself, you know, digging yourself into a deep hole and you can't get out, man. All right. So um, go ahead and grab this scripture in the book of Joshua, chapter one, and verse eight. And it says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. So we're supposed to meditate. You know, on, on the book of the law, man. All right, so we, you know, so we would know, you know, uh, the things that, you know, really we should know. All right? Especially being, you know, us calling ourselves he Hebrew Israelites, man. You know, a lot of guys want to go into, <clears throat> you know, all of this deep, deep information about, you know, areas that they've never even been to. You know, but when you ask them, you know, uh, can you, you know, you know the Hebrew alphabet? 
you know, the basics. You know, they can't they can't spit it out because they're getting engulfed, you know, in all of this this false information that's, uh, 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 that's out here, man. All right. That's why the 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 um, that's the word I want to say. Um, the trail, you know, has been has been blazed for us. You know, we just follow that trail, man. All right. It's already laid out for us, man. So if you don't see our leaders, you know, the men who, who we've learned from doing certain things that we then we really you shouldn't be doing it either. All right. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, you, sh you should be a parrot. All right. Because you have to be your own you know, man, man in this thing. But certain things, you know, you have to, you know, just stick to what the, you know, uh, what we what we've been taught, man. All right, like the scripture say. Matter of fact, now I'll grab that next. Let me finish this out. It says, um, continue. It says, for then thou shalt make thy thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. You see, so we stick to the things, you know, that we are taught. You know, the scripture say that we'll have good success, man. You know, and it's true. We've seen that, man. All right, we as we look back, you know, at that old man. That we once were, we we seen <clears throat> by sticking to, you know, the doctrine, how much success that we have, man. All right. So uh, from there, uh, let me get this. And Timothy. All right. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter four, and verse. I'm gonna go straight to the point. In verse sixteen, it says, "Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine; continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee." You see, so the scriptures say, "Take heed <coughs> uh, to thyself and unto the doctrine, man." All right, a part of taking heed to yourself and in, and to the doctrine is what being aware. Of the infodemic, man. All right, being aware of the false, you know, narratives, you know, that's going to be put out against us, you know, them trying to persecute us, you know, we have to, you have to be aware, aware of those things, man. All right, that's why, I, I, you know, the, the spirit has me keep saying, you know, prophecy, prophesy, 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 man. You know, that's that's what we've been taught to prophesy, you know, prophesy the downfall of America. All right. But it says, um, going back. Matter of fact, I had, uh, had this queued up, too, in the book of Isaiah. <clears throat> this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34 and verse 16. It says, seek ye. Out of the book of the Lord, Yahweh. What's the book of the Lord, Yahweh? It's the Bible. You know, it says seek, seek. Uh, you know, out of it, man. All right, and read. No one of these shall fail; none shall want her mate. You see, so this book, you know, if you have the correct understanding, it won't fail you. All right, that's why it's important to not, you know, <clears throat> dive. You know, so like you, you know, dive into all of this information and you're not, you know, grounded yourself. All right. That's a very, very, very dangerous game that, that, that you're playing, man. All right. It says none should want her mate. Why is that? Because the Bible trumps everything, man. All right. The Bible trumps everything. That's why I said, you know, we, we go into certain other things, but if it don't match up with the scriptures, then you know it's in one ear, not the other, man. All right, and that's simple. All right, it's simple to those who have the correct understanding. You know, not to just, you know, uh, like a saying, you know, a saying that we always say here, you know, is uh, so like it, uh, how it goes, um. Uh, you know, uh, separating, you know, the meat from the bones. Okay. 
You got to know what to spit out, man. All right? You got to know what not to intake within your spirit. Or you'll be bugged out like these uh, uh, Egyptologists or, you know, these Kemet, you know, that, you know, the Africans, the whole African spirit, you know, hermetic spirit. You know, you got to beware of those things, man. Okay? The Lord, the Lord would, could, it would, it would destroy your spirit because you're not being grounded. All right? It says... For my mouth it had commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. All right, so I'm going to grab one more scripture in the uh, Apocrypha. I'm going to go ahead and close out. So I can. It's so Rock 39 and verse 1. And if you want to read, you know, go, you know, deeper into the infodemic. You know, just searching on Google, you know, simple Google search. But it says, Surah 39 and 1, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. You see, so that's, you know, basically self-explanatory, man. You know, we're supposed to be occupied in the prophecies, man. You know, the uh, MOTB... You know, uh, World War Three. You know, America back being Babylon. You know, the different kingdoms. You know, that, those are the things that our mind, you know, is is occupied on, man. All right, the prophecies, man. Okay, so Lord willing, you know, this lesson is edifying. I'm gonna go ahead and close out by giving all praises and infinite glory to Yahweh by Shimmy Shai, by Shimmer Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. To the next time I say Shalom.